this is Yusuf at my own channel, as you know. Um, and I put up a video, you know, of who will be blocked or how you can get blocked or whatever. And I say, you know, you can say whatever you want as long as it's not racism threatening anybody or continuous foul language. And she has risen, put, that's okay, I just flag. She flags every single one of my videos. This is somebody who I went out of my way for. It's a total narcissist. Um, but moving on from that, uh, it does get pretty depressing um, looking at uh, basically the secret, the hidden history of uh, of war of what wasn't shown or what wasn't portrayed in the media. Especially Serbia. And there was something that happened very recently and I actually caught it. Um, uh, which was South Ossetia when, um, when Russia had to invade to stop an ethnic cleansing. And um, since George Bush got his news from Fox news um, they said oh Russia invaded unprovoked and that the military shelling was coming from Russia when it wasn't and Russia had only gone in um, I think what was it like a, either 145 yards or 145 feet or 145 meters or something like that um, and it was uh, it, it, it's just crazy the uh, it's sad to say, but I think the time of the greatness of America has waned. I mean, America was a strong force during, um, or well, in the Second World War uh, and during the Cold War, but even during the Cold War. In the 60s and 70s, there was some dark stuff going on. If you read Christopher Hitchens' book, The Trials of Henry Kissinger, of what happened in East Timor and the, uh, the genocide and the ethnic cleansing that was going on there, or Henry Kissinger backing the Maoists, not the Maoists, um, the Khmer Rouge in Cambodia just because they were the enemy of, of the Vietnamese. Um, and still allies of America, the Khmer Rouge. I mean, how disgusting is that? I don't know what I more can say for Serbia, for Kosovo, for all those regions of the world. All I can do is talk right now. And just try to wake people up to the fact that this is uh, this is real and this is going on. In the midst of this, um, I have someone flagging my every video that I make because they think I am a Satanist or a someone of the occult. Uh, they, I believe they believe this of every Catholic and Orthodox person that they're part of the Illuminati. Well, here's a little thing. Um, you are you are not. If you are a Freemason, you are not Orthodox. If you are a Freemason, you are not Catholic. Uh, you can't be one and the other. It's impossible. I know this seems like a pretty useless video, um, but I figure I'll probably warn people about she is risen. But uh, if anybody has any ideas. Uh, or uh, wants to share anything about what, what's going on. I mean, uh, I'll make a video about it. The uh, Certainly Bashar al-Assad, this whole Arab Spring thing, as if it's a good idea, as if the toppling of regimes and replacing them with Wahhabist Islam is a good thing. It's, it's pretty scary. Um... And the funny thing is, is that the uh, the liberal left in America, which 
I used to be a part of, and to some extent I still am. Uh, <coughs> is backing these things. You know, it, it, it's funny you see uh, women wearing hijab who aren't Muslim who are trying to support their sisters and claiming that they're feminists. Um, the, the whole world is upside down right now. Um, uh, I'll go into I'll go into the video later about that though. Um, peace to you. Just want to make a short video, but uh, the topics that I have just uh, that I want to bring up are going to be like a at least 10 minutes, so I'll just leave it at this, and, um, just warn people that she has risen, and, uh, if anybody has any topics out there, any things that should be mentioned that aren't being spoken about, uh, please message me. Peace to you. May God save Serbia.